What is up Fishaholics, Rich Jay here, Fishaholic Fishing, and uh, today I'm up here in Killington, Vermont, and uh, I'm on Lake, Lake A, I'm gonna call it, because this is spot A. This is one of the first lakes that, you know, I figured I might as well give a shot and try uh, ice fishing as soon as I knew I was gonna come up here to Killington, Vermont, Vermont for New Year's, and uh, it looks like a pretty decent lake. The only thing I really know about this lake is that it has a really good largemouth population. It's stocked with trout. Right now it's around 1.30 p.m. My main goal was to be up here at dawn, so I had all day to fish the lake or ice fish, but uh, that never happened. Uh, I overslept and I ended up waking up and leaving my house in Jersey at the time that I should have been getting up here. I wanted to leave at three, get up here at eight, and um, I ended up getting up here at 1.30. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't leave my house till 8 a.m. But, uh, you know, it's really absolutely gorgeous up here. This is actually, this is actually gonna be my first time ice fishing Vermont. Hopefully I can catch some fish. Even if I don't catch anything though, that's a hell of a view right there behind me. Let's find some fish. So the first spot that I'm gonna try is this, what looks to be a cove right here in front of me. I mean, cause for the most part, this lake is just kind of like a big bowl, except for this little spot right here where it, uh, you know, it kind of goes in and looks like there might be, you know, a grass bed or a shallow flat. And uh, I really want to try and find the edge of the grass line, maybe even a little bit of a depression or basin area. That would be, you know, an ideal area to uh, try and find some largemouth. Uh, I have a feeling that, you know, I'll be able to find some panfish as well. I mean, I'll be happy just catching some panfish if I can go up here in this little cove and, uh, you know, they might be sitting in some shallow water just hanging out on some grass. So, you know, that's what I'm going to try and do. All right, let's set up the showdown, see what kind of depth we have here. Got about seven feet of water right here. Not too bad. All right, let's see how long it takes for me to get a fish. I got three more holes to the left of me, which I bet it gets a little bit shallower the further you go inside the cove there. So I'll probably give it five minutes here. And if I can't get any bites, then I'll probably start moving to the left of me. All right, just hooked my first fish right there, guys. Found him in four feet of water. You missed the hook set, but I got a fish. Nice, nice little yellow perch. Throw him back. So I'm pretty much all the way inside this cove right now. I started out in seven feet of water, and now I'm all the way up the cove in four feet of water. It took me a while just to find that one fish. Oh, just found, had a fish come up for it. He's looking at it. Gonna wait for my spring bobber to go clunk. Hopefully I can get a bite. Come on, come on, hit it. My screen is lit up right now. There he is. Decent fish, decent fish. Oh, that is a chunk right there. I'm only using two pound test and my little ultralight spinning rod. That chunky perch puts up a great fight. Oh, got a fish coming up for it on the screen. He's looking at it. There he is. Oh, nice fish, really nice one. Not a giant yellow perch, but definitely a good one for uh, you know some really light tackle and two pound test line. All right, one more, then I'm gonna drill a few more holes and really cover this spot here. Try and see if I can find something a little bit larger than a perch, maybe a bass or you know some crappie. I'm still pretty you know content catching these yellow perch 
on a body of water I've never been to before. It's always it's always good to catch like anything. You know, if I came here and caught nothing, I would have been pretty bummed. There's a nice one right there. Nice chunk, chunk of dunk. Boom. It's maybe around a, I don't know, 11 incher. Not bad in my book. All right guys, well that's about it right there. You know, I didn't catch uh, too many fish today. I caught four perch. But uh, hey, it was better than nothing at a new lake that I've never been to before and for my first time ever ice fishing Vermont. And uh, I made the one of those uh, mistakes. Never leave fish to find fish. And uh, you know, I was on that little honey hole where I caught four yellow perch like right away, right off the bat. And uh, then I decided to, uh, you know, leave that hole and, you know, drill a few more holes in the, you know, surrounding area. And uh, I couldn't buy a bite. You know, I put the underwater camera down below the ice. I didn't see one fish, you know, in 15, 20 minutes with that camera down below the ice. And, uh, you know, then I went back to my initial hole where I was catching fish and uh, the fish were gone. You know, I couldn't catch anymore. But, uh, Hey, it's fishing, you know. <laughs> I'm going to be ice fishing tomorrow. I might fish a different lake, I'm not too sure. So if you want to see what I catch tomorrow for the last day of the 2016 fishing season, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, don't forget to like it. But never forget, live to fish, fish to live. <laughs>